Panther, trust your gut. You need to trust your gut when it comes to this situation with this person. I Meaning you're getting this, but you need to reach out to your person. You need to say something to your person. You're going to get this uh, this feeling in your stomach. Like this, they, they need to hear from me. I need to reach out to them. Listen to your gut. Trust your gut. Trust this feeling you're having about your person that, you're, that they're missing you or that they want to hear from you. I'm getting that it's accurate and we'll be restoring this connection uh, to what it once was. Uh, this person has been very cold and this has been very uh, non-communicative and this is going to help restore that communication between you two. So I'm getting to listen to your intuition. It's very accurate and uh, you have some opportunities coming your way with this person. Now, this reading will be for all cancers, cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus and Mercury of that sign. This will be a timeless reading. So whenever you watch this, it's going to be the right time for you to watch it and we're going to get right into it. So welcome to Final Effect Tarot. I'm Brandon Lickie. We're doing this reading for all cancers. And cancer. This is a big, powerful reading for you. This is this is a very important message that's coming in for all cancers out there. So I can't wait to do this for you. You need to trust your gut, trust your intuition. Your feelings are revealing to you what you need to do with the situation with your person, how to restore this love and this connection. Trust what you're feeling. It is accurate. I mean, you have a very deep spiritual connection with this person. What you're feeling, this person is also feeling. I mean, you, you both are feeling the same way about each other. And this person is revealing a lot of secrets to you through this, these feelings that you're having. You saw that three wands wanting to pop out. That's personal Cassidy regarding which actions to take. So you're going to know exactly what to do, exactly what to say when the opportunity arises, when this person comes through for you. So take advantage of these, uh, these, this connection that you have. It's a very deep one. The answers are coming to you. I mean, they're coming to you in waves. I don't know where you're going to get hit with, with this feeling. And it's like you're going to have to act on it. How these cars should be. First card I got for you is the Ace of Pentacles. So you have a brand new beginning coming in with this person, uh, Cancer. This is a very good card for a brand new beginning here. This uh, has to do with uh, a prosperous new start for you and your person. So this is telling you that fortunes are going to be turning in your favor. This is a, a very good beginning for you and this person with this coming in. Uh, this is a brand new opportunity that you're being handed here with this Ace of Pentacles. This is a very good thing. For many of this is a sudden windfall. This is a card of good luck, a card of a fortune that's turning in your favor. So this is a very good card to start out with, with the Ace of Pentacles, especially if you've been having a run of bad luck or things have just been not going your way with you and this person. When that Ace of Pentacles comes out, it's letting you know that things are taking a turn for the better or you're getting presented with a golden opportunity to make things right with your person with that Ace of Pentacles coming out. Um, this has to do with uh, manifesting something in the material. This is letting you know that you're very close to getting what you want physically from this person. And this is a very good card to get uh, come out with here. Manifestation of the physical. Card of healing and success. Yeah, and I'm telling you, it's it's because of your intuition. You're getting this, you're manifesting this new beginning with your person because you're listening to your intuition. You have this deep connection with this person. You're being guided on what to say and what to do. You can feel what this person is feeling. It's a very deep connection between you two. The high priestess um, represents uh, spiritual connections here. You can see it by the crescent moon representing spirituality. Um, she has her headdress here on with the, as you can see, the moon here, which has to do with uh, things that are beneath the surface. And these are these are feelings she's having beneath the surface that are being revealed to you here. I mean, they're coming out. And as you can see by the pomegranate curtain here, these are secrets that are yet to be revealed about your person. So there's some things that are coming out here that your person has not told you or you two haven't talked about. Um, these are going to be revealed to you um, through your person here. They've been very cold and distant because the high priestess, she's a very cold bitch. She's, she's very cold and detached. She's quick to detach herself from a situation when things are not going well or when things are not um, when you two are when things are not going her way. She's dealt with a lot of difficulty in her love life. She's been through some of the best and some of the worst times in her relationships. You can see by the black and the white pillar here, which represents the, the light and the dark, the good and the bad um, with her relationships. So she's been through a lot of this, a lot of the, a lot of ups and downs. Same thing with your relationship here with this person. I get that they've been coming through in waves or that they they uh, there's been times that have been very good with this person and times that have been a fucking nightmare with this person. But with this card coming out, it's letting you know to trust your feeling, trust your intuition. It's guiding you towards the answer. It's guiding you towards what you need to say, what you need to do to have this new beginning with this person, to restore that beginning, to restore what you two once had here with that Ace of Pentacles coming in.
But yeah, it's it's a card of a, a turn of forces. It's a card as Ace of Pentacles is a card of a fortunate new beginning, um, prosperous new beginning. It's something you know that you're having you having a run of good luck. The Ace of Pentacles is a card of, of good luck. Um, so it's a fortunate new start for you too. And there's a lot of there's going to be a lot of growth in this connection, as you see by the big ass pentacle here. This represents uh, growth, financial growth. Um, this uh, represents uh, growing together. And it represents uh, the physical material. This person wants to be touched by you, wants to be held by you. But yeah, you're about to be presented with a golden opportunity to make this right with your person here, Cancer. After they've been very cold and distant, they've been difficult. Things are about to become a lot easier for you and this person. There you have it. You have the uh, Page of Cups coming out. So I'm telling you, this use your imagination, use your creativity. The Page of Cups has to do with a surprise message coming in from your person. That's what's going to be helping you with this connection. Um, the page, uh, page is bare messages. And this one is going to catch you by surprise here. Let's just like this fish emerges from the cup of the page. Surprise this is a spiritual message. And I said before with the, uh, the high priestess coming out, deep spiritual connection. There's, there's things that are going to be revealed to you through the, your intuition, through your gut feeling. Trust your gut. You're in for a pleasant surprise here with this person. This message is going to reassure you that this person has a lot of love for you. This is typically a younger admirer with the page of uh, cups coming out. There's somebody who, who has a lot of love for what you do. They, they find you very uh, creative, very intelligent. And they see themselves having a lot of success with you here. With this uh, Ace of Pentacles coming out. This is a new uh, beginning coming in for you too. Um, it's a card of healing as well. A card, a card of recovery of good health, recovery of good times. And you have the Empress coming out here at the bottom of the deck. So your person is going to start being more warm and loving. They're going to go from that cold, distant bitch of an energy with that high priestess coming out to being this warm, loving, nurturing, supporting uh, motherly energy with the high or the uh, Empress coming out here. The Empress is the mother of the Tarot. She nurtures things. She helps them grow. She 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 feeds them and and, and babies them. Shows them a lot of uh, TLC, tender love and care. She's all about touch. She's ruled by Venus, the planet of sensual pleasures and, and beauty. So she wants to be touched. She wants to be held. She wants to be rubbed up on and, and groped and, 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 and held and teased and pleased. She's all about she's all about touch and sensual pleasure. She wants to be touched. She wants to be held. She wants to be loved up on. And your person, that's what they want right now. They feel like they've been neglected. They feel like they've been, been cold and turned away. They want to be held by you. They want to be touched by you. Uh, this person finds you very beautiful, very sexy. You see it here with the Ace of Pentacles as well. It's all about the touch. Look at that. Physical. This person wants to wrap themselves around you. They want to touch you. They want to feel you. When they feel every crevice of you, this person, this person wants to hold you and touch you and feel up on you. They find you very beautiful, very sexy. Your person here as the Empress, also very beautiful and sexy. I'm getting you both are very attractive, both very physically attractive. And this person is a big admirer of yours. You see it here with the Page of Cups. This person admires you. They're coming through with this message to reassure you that they have this love for you, that they want to, to start over. They want this new beginning with you here with this Ace of Pentacles coming out. This new beginning is coming in when this message comes through. And you have commitment coming from your person. Look at this. They're all about traditional relationships. Your person wants marriage or they want a long-term commitment with this uh, high, uh, uh, not high priestess, the uh, Harafon coming out. The Harafon goes with the high priestess. They're the biggest power couple in the tarot. The thing about the high priestess and the, and the, the Harafon is they're very distant from each other and their connection is more spiritual than it is physical. But if they were to come together, they are the strongest, they are the strongest power couple in all the tarot. Um, that's the same thing for you too. I'm getting YouTube and very distant, this cold energy. You you, you communicate differently, um, but you have a very deep spiritual connection. And when you two come together, it's something very powerful, something very powerful between you two. And I'm getting that's what's going to be coming into uh, fruition here with this uh, horrifying coming out. I'm getting that it's going to be a very uh, powerful connection. This is always a good card to get in a love spread. It represents if you've been with somebody that's been inconsistent or you know you've been 
with a lover that's not been taking the things seriously, that you're going to get somebody that wants to commit and they take things seriously. This is somebody who takes love seriously. They're all about commitment, all about long-term relationships. They want something stable. That's what you're going to be getting uh, coming in here. You're going to be getting something stable, something consistent. This is what you've been missing from your love life here. You've been missing stability. You've been missing love that is consistent. And look at the way he's holding his hands up here. Right? He's holding his hand up here. See, see the two fingers? Look, like, look, there's a bond. You two are going to be like this. I mean, that's what your bond is going to be like. Very strong bond between you two. And you see it here with the, the figure supporting the Pope here. This, this represents support, strong support coming from a partner. This person is going to be showing you a lot, a lot, a lot of support here. There you have it with the uh, Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, your person, they're consistent. They're reliable. They're hardworking. You don't see that this person is refusing to give up on you. With this Knight of Pentacles coming out, this is somebody who, once they set their eyes on something, it's like, that's what they're all about. This person is very goal-oriented. And they always see things through to the finish. It's like, if you two started something here, the, your person, they want to see it through to the end, to the bitter end. Whether, whether it's been good, bad, ugly, whatever the deal is with this, your person wants to complete this, this with you. They want to complete this journey. They want to see this through to the end. No matter what the result is, your person wants to, wants to make this happen. Um, they at least want to try. Your person wants commitment here. They want something solid. Your person, they're like, look, I want, I saw something long term with you. I wanted to commit with, to you. I wanted to marry you. I wanted to be with you for a long term. So just because things haven't turned out in your favor here, your person is not about to just up and walk away or disappear when it comes to this connection. This is somebody who wants to work on this and they want to build on this with you with that Knight of Pentacles coming out. Yeah, but somebody very trustworthy, very hardworking, goal-oriented. They take relationships very seriously. Like, like the Knight of Pentacles takes his responsibilities very seriously. This person takes this relationship, this connection that you two have very seriously. It's a deep connection. And they want to commit to you because of this. They they know this. They can sense this with that heart bond coming out. They know this deep connection is there. So your person wants to commit to you. Harpon has to do with marriages, institutions. Uh, traditional relationships. And it's also a card that's telling you if you stand by what you believe in, people are going to follow you. So your person, they 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 really stand for something here. They stand by what they believe in above anything else. They have very strong faith. And you could be dealing with a Taurus here. Uh, the uh, Harapon represents the sign of the Taurus. But yeah, there it is. Your person wants to bring this thing back together. You have a judgment card here. Um, a card of revival, a card of restoring, uh, restoring a connection that you thought was dead and gone or a connection that fell apart. As you see by the departed souls here being raised from the dead. By the angel Gabriel here, these call, these souls are being called back for judgment. And they're saying, you know, only some of these souls are going to get a chance. They're giving them a second chance here at life. So that's the same thing with your connection, breathing new life into this thing, giving it a second chance. Your person's looking at everything you two have been through and said, you know what, I want to get back together. You saw it with the Knight of Pentacles. Your person's like, look, I want to finish what we started here. This is this is an incomplete. Whatever we're whatever we're working on, we haven't finished this thing. We need we need to finish what we started. We need to get this thing. Well, drag this thing to the finish line if we have to but your person wants to breathe new life into this connection here judgment card is letting you know this is the culmination of all your efforts also known as the final judgment coming into fruition for you so based off everything you've done for your person here you're, they want to give you a second chance they want to get back together they want to be touched and held by you again it's, this person finds you very physically attractive very beautiful very sexy you had the empress card coming out here which has to do with the uh, uh beauty and sensual pleasure so your person finds you very beautiful very sexy they want to be touched by you want to be held by you and they want to restore what you two once had here with that uh with that judgment card coming out they want to bring this thing back yeah they're making that judgment call that final judgment call based off of what you've been through
And communication is about to open up for you too. You have the page of swords coming out, which is a great communicator. Uh, your person, David, you this person's been on your mind a lot here, uh, Cancer. This person's been weighing on your mind with this page of swords coming out. It's like this this person has been got you scrambling around trying to figure things out when it comes to this connection. This is a card of, of somebody who has a hard time finding focus when it comes to the when it comes to the page of swords. It's like they have they have uh, multiple good ideas. They they try multiple things, but they never stick to one thing. Um, they're very scatterbrained. They're all over the place. But they are very intelligent. They have a lot of great ideas, and they're a great communicator. Um, it's just like they never really stick to one subject. But that's what you have coming through here for your person with this coming out. There's a lot of communication coming in. Um, this is telling you it's a card of swift action. So like I said before, you're going to have to act without thinking. You're going to have to be very quick on your feet with this person. The Page of Swords uses their quick wits when it comes to uh, when it comes to their person. So it's important for you to use your quick wits, make quick moves, um, take advantage of an opportunity when it comes to you here. When you get this second chance, make sure you, you jump on this thing because your person wants commitment. They want something long term here. They take relationships very seriously with this uh, horror font coming out. So if you've been played around with, fucked around with in the past, that is not going to be the case when this person comes back around and gives you this second chance. They're going to take things much more seriously this time around and uh, look for a commitment, look for something long-term here, look for something more stable. And you saw it with Knight of Pentacles. It's like Knight of Pentacles wants to finish what they start. They take the responsibilities very seriously. They want to they want to build on this connection with you. And communication is about to get much better. When you have the page of swords coming out, it's telling you communication will be opening up. It will be improving for you in a big way um your person's also been fantasizing or thinking about you've been thinking a lot about sex with this person as well you saw it with the high priestess so you find this person very physically attractive very uh, very beautiful very sexy and then with the uh page of swords coming out this has to do with penetration so you wanting to penetrate this person you're wanting sex you've been thinking a lot about this uh, with that coming out You could be dealing with sign of the Virgo. You have the hermit card coming out here at the bottom of the deck, represents sign of the Virgo. But this is letting you know that the answer is about to be revealed to you when it comes to this connection. The uh, Virgo is the or the hermit card is the truth seeker of the tarot. Um, this is somebody who's reflecting, doing some deep reflection in this connection. Um, your person here. This, I mean, this is your person. They've been thinking back on the, to all the good times you were thinking back to. Um, what you two have been through in this connection, and you see it here with the judgment card. It was the same thing. Your person is, is taking a look back at everything you two uh, went through. They're making a judgment call based off of um, the culmination of all your efforts in this relationship. And it's the same thing here with the um, the, uh, the hermit card coming out. Your person is uh, reflecting on this connection, taking a look back at what you have been through. And they're going to be shining a light on the truth here. They're saying, look, uh, this is what I found out based off of what I looked at, based off of what, you know, uh, what we've been through. And the story is both of you are in your head about this. You're over, you're over here in your head with the page of swords. It's like you're, you're stuck up in your head about what your person said to you or, or what, what you two went through here. It's been, it's been going through your head like crazy. You're not able to focus on anything because of what your person did or said. And then your person here, they're cutting off everything. It's like they're cutting out all distractions, all other options, all outside shit. Uh, the uh, hermit is a soloist. So he's, he's somebody who cuts out distractions. He's somebody who takes time to himself. He enjoys time by himself. And he shuts out distractions where you can find the answer. That's what your person did here. They cut out other people from their life. They cut out distractions. They said, I'm going to focus on what I need to to figure this out. And I'm going to come back. I'm going to, I'm going to make this work for you. Your person, they found out what was going on with that. Uh, they found the solution with that, uh, with the hermit car coming out. And they're about to be coming through uh, to communicate with you here. Uh, come back to give you a second chance to restore this connection. Yeah, your person was pretending to be uh, not interested in you. You have the uh, the Queen of uh, Wands coming out here. She's the pretender of the tarot. She's the actress. So your person was acting like they didn't want nothing to do with you or they didn't want uh, anything to, they didn't want to be with you anymore, whatever the deal was. Um, this person is very charming. Queen of Wands, she's a charmer. She's the most attractive queen of the tarot. She's very magnetic. She attracts exactly what she wants. This person is knows they're attractive. They know they can get what they want from this situation. So they they're they kind of play that cold, distant energy with the high priestess. They're like, oh, I don't want anything to do with you. I'm not interested in you, or I don't want to, I don't want to do this. 
that couldn't be further from the truth. Your person did that so they could take time to themselves and figure out what they wanted to do or for, or to, to spy on you as well. Because remember, Petty Swords has to do with a spy. So I'm getting your person was watching you or just, uh, just just sitting back and seeing what was going on, surveying the situation, trying to find the truth, as you saw with the, um, the Hermit card, keeping a close eye on things. But yeah, your person here, they want to restore this connection. The, the uh, Queen of Wands is an attention slut. So she wants to draw attention to herself. She wants to, she wants your love and attention. She wants to draw you to her. She's used to getting attention. She's used to getting what she wants. And she's the most sexual queen of tarot. She's very sexually driven. With her being right next to the page of swords, it's like this person wants sex with you. They've been uh, dreaming about, fantasizing about sex, being thinking about being penetrated by you um, with these cards being next to each other. So you have you have very good sex coming in. For many of you, the sex is going to restore this relationship. You see it here right next to the judgment card uh, coming out here. A uh, card of second chance is a card of revival. Uh, represents a uh, book of revelations in the Bible, uh, you know, a time of uh, re reviving, uh, bringing these departed souls uh, back to life. Uh, so that's just going to be coming in for you and your person here. Um, a second chance reviving uh, a lost dead connection here and getting commitment coming in. This is about to be much more consistent when you have the horrifying coming in here. So you, your person is going to be taking things more seriously this time around, being more committal, wanting something long term here. For some of your person is going to propose to you. This is a card of marriage. And long-term connections here. But yeah, communication is going to improve. Your situation has become much more consistent. Um, your person here, they want your time and energy and attention. They've been fantasizing about you. I'm getting very powerful sexual energy here with these cards being next to each other. With the Queen of Wands and the Page of Swords. Very powerful, passionate sexual energy. Your person is very sexually driven. They've been wanting to charm you or, or seduce you. They've been, they've been trying to, to reel you in because they want this sex. They've been fantasizing about this, fucking back here, kicking back on their on their throne, fucking strumming their clip, fucking dreaming about you, fucking teasing themselves over here. Look at that little smirk on her face. She knows what's up. She's she's been fantasizing over here about you. But this person wants your attention, and they 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 want. I'm getting they want sex. Your person wants this, and they they've been trying to make this thing. Uh, they've been trying to bring this back together with you. But yeah, your person, you even see with the black cat here, represented by feminine wilds. So your person is very wet, very wild, very horny, been dreaming about you, fantasizing about you. And they just want you to come over here, fucking slide their little gown up out the way, fucking toss, toss their ankles over your, toss their ankles over your shoulders, fucking fold them up in their little throne right here. I mean, wrap your arms on their hips, fucking uh, fold them up like a pretzel, fucking whip out your hard cock, fucking drag it all up in on their pussy, start smacking on their clit, fucking start driving your cock aside and fucking Drilling their pussy on this on this throne here. I mean, breaking that throne in half, breaking that throne in. But that's what they want here. Your person wants to restore that passion, restore that that uh, that sexual connection that you two have. They've been wanting to get penetrated here. You see with the page of swords representing penetration. Your person's been in their head about this. The sexual desire of the queen here. They want to bring that in. And it's right next to the uh, judgment card. Wanting to bring this relationship back to life. Wanting to give you a second chance here. Calling you forth. For judgment. And it's right next to the Harpon as well. So you could be dealing with a Taurus here when it comes to this person. You could be dealing with Taurus, but you have support coming in. This person is going to be showing you love and support here, whereas before it's like they were just kind of uh, playing around, not taking things very seriously. Um, now they're going to be more committal with this coming out this time around. It's like these, um, it's like these uh, loyal supporters of the Pope here. But yeah, like I said from the beginning, Cancer, you have the Ace of Pentacles. This was your first card that came out, so you're getting a golden opportunity here. Luck is is turning in your favor here. This is a this is a very lucky card here. This uh, is letting you know that this uh, has a lucky opportunity coming in for you here. This is going to turn fortune in your favor. You're going to have success with this person, growth with this person. This new beginning is very good. Uh, it's a prosperous new start, and you have a powerful message coming in. Page of Cups coming out. So this is a pleasant surprise coming from your person here. I mean, they they love surprising you. They love catching you off guard here. Part of the reason they were acting disinterested, you have the uh, Queen of Wands coming out here. So your person was uh, trying to act like they were not interested in you or, you know, uh, pretend that they, they wanted nothing to do with you. 
But you already knew that wasn't true because you, you have the high priestess. I'm getting to trust what you're feeling about this person. It's accurate. Even if they've been cold and distant, even if the communication has been terrible, it's been it's been shitty communication. I'm getting that this things are going to improve for you too. Yeah, the main reason why this was going on was because of a third party. Your person had somebody else that they were involved with in their situation. And it's understandable because the Queen of Wands is very attractive and she's very sexual. She's the most sexual queen. She's the most attractive queen in the tarot. So it's it's very easy for her to uh, get involved with another party. But what I'm getting is that your person is going to be more committal to you, despite the fact they put you through this third party, put you through this pain. You see it here with the horror font. Has to do with commitment. This person wants a traditional relationship. They want to be loyal to you. They want to treat you good. They want to give you a second chance here, bring this relationship back to life. And the reason I say this is because the Ace of Pentacles was your first card here, which has to do with healing, uh, restoration. So that's just going to be coming in for you with this person. I mean, you're going to be healing from that third party, restoring what was once good with this connection. And they're going to be reassuring you that they have this love for you. Remember, the pages are loyal. And this person here, they're going to be uh, surprising you with this message, reassuring you that they have this love for you. Yeah, Victoria's Struggle. You got the Ace of swords coming out here very powerful card it's card of a great force and great change with this coming in it's a it's a very very powerful card and it's letting you know that you have the power you wield the power to make change in this connection um, this card of taking initiative so it's telling you to, to make that move to, to say what you got to say um that you have some great ideas right now your words are very powerful and whatever you say is going to transform this connection it's going to cause some some very powerful changes this card of great power and great positivity so whatever you're saying here, it's it's going to cause some uh, some positive change in your connection here. For many of you, this person already chose you. You see the crown here on top of the sword. This has to do with the, your person crowning you, saying, "Look, you're the one. You're the one I want to be with. You're the one who I who I want to make this happen with. I want to make this work with." With that ace of swords coming out, and I get that they're going to be cutting out a third party to make it work with you. Right now, this is right next to the three of swords. So I see a person cutting out a third party to make this happen with you. At least you have the power to overcome this third party. Yeah, you wield the power here. But yeah, it's card of great power, great change, positivity, success. Very good card. Yeah, your judgment is accurate about your person. They were back and forth between you and another option here, and they're going to be giving you a lot more love and energy. I see a transfer happening here with this uh, Two of Pentacles. They're going to be giving you a lot more time and energy. Your person was working on themselves. You see this card. This represents recreational activity, so I get your person working on their body. You saw it earlier with the Empress card. It's like your person is, is looking very beautiful, very sexy. They've been working on themselves. They've been improving themselves, and they've been... Uh, to becoming more flexible, uh, trans transitioning or transferring more energy more towards you and away from this, this juggling act that they've been doing. They're going to be giving you more time and energy here, taking things more seriously, being more committal. You see it here with the heart font. you got commitment coming in from this person. Um, they're going to be giving you a second chance. You're wanting to revive this connection. Whatever it is you two lost, they're wanting to bring that back to life here. Um, there's a lot of communication coming in because you see the page of swords coming out, um, representation of a good communication, um, fast action, quick wits. Um, use your intelligence, use your uh, quick wits to make this work with your person. Uh, this communication is going to be coming in hot. And there it is. Is This person wants your time and attention. They want your energy here with the uh, Queen of Wands. She's trying to draw you in. She's trying to attract you. She wants your energy. She's very um, she's very turned on by you as well. She's this is, this is a card of a feminine wilds. Like I said before, she's very turned on. She's very hot, very wet, very wild, very horny, um, very sexually aroused. And you're going to get victory over this third party here. They're going to be triumphant over this third party, over this, 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 whoever your person's had on the side, this side piece, that your person to fuck around, causing you pain, heartache, and despair. Um, you two are going to be able to overcome this with that Ace of Swords coming out. You have the power to do this. Yeah, you wield the power to overcome this third party. 
and to get commitment from your person. They're going to be coming through for you here. I, I'm getting this third party party is going to be uh, still involved in the situation, but you're going to be able to overcome them and get commitment. Yeah, and restore emotional stability. You have the uh, the King of Cups coming out here, uh, which represents um, emotional stability coming into your uh, situation here. He reigns over the sea like Poseidon, so he's able to calm those turbulent waters, and get, you're going to be smoothing things over with your person here, or with whatever it is you say. These these words you're saying to your person are very powerful, and that they're they're calming your person, they're helping reassure your person that this is a stable emotional connection between you two. It's something that's going to last for a while, but yeah, this is you getting a victory over this thing with that ace of swords coming out um victory over struggle or a victorious struggle coming in victory over heartache victory over pain victory over this third party and you can see it here you can see there is is it just me or does this sword look very, very similar to this sword right here in this three sword? Because look, you have two swords, right? This third sword is different than these two. You see that? So I see ripping, ripping that sword out of this bleeding heart here, taking that saying, get the fuck out of here to that third party. Restoring this connection with your person, getting that commitment coming in, getting something consistent here. I see that coming in for you here. And I said it from, from before when I, when this horror front came out, that your person is going to be taking things more seriously. You saw it earlier with the Knight of Pentacles coming out the bottom of the deck. You didn't see that your person wanted to commit to you or they, they wanted to, uh, to, to take this thing, uh, finish what they started with you here. Knight of Pentacles always finishes what they start. They take their, their responsibilities very seriously. They take the relationships very seriously. Your person saw this here. And you're getting an opportunity here when your person comes back through, when you, when you, when you, seduce your person when you tease and please this this queen who has this very strong sex tribe when you come through and you stuff your sword up in her what you're going to be doing here think you're going to you're going to take this you're going to you know rip that sword out of his bleeding heart kiss that third party goodbye say say fuck see you tired of that shit wouldn't want to be you but that's what you're going to be doing here for you and your person it's going to be doing for you and your person your cancer it's going to be a very good thing you're going to be getting your person over there about being held back and dealing with this uh, reserved energy here with that uh, nine of uh, wands coming out. So your person, they've been held back. They've been uh, they've been stifled by love before in the past. They've been hurt multiple times. Your person's been burned. So it's like they have a hard time trusting anybody. That's part of the reason they had this, this third party on the side or were, were playing these games with you to see if you were to come through for them, to see if you would commit to them, to see if you would um, be loyal and and, uh, and good to them. Uh, but this, that's, that's what's going to be happening here. This Knight of Wands, this is a card of the last salvo, card of the last battle before you get to where you want to go in a connection. So this is this is, this is is right where you want to be. This is right where you want to be right now, uh, Cancer, with your person. Don't give up on this connection. Right now it feels like a chore because you've, you've been working hard on this connection. You didn't get where you wanted to go. Um, you dealt with uh, that third-party situation. You dealt with pain and heartache. Um, you have a new beginning coming in, a fortunate new start for your person here with that ace of pentacles coming out a golden opportunity to start again and to restore what you two had lost um it's coming in hot because you have that a page of pentacles or page of uh, cups energy excuse me uh, coming out from your person so you have a, a surprise opportunity coming in for your person they want commitment here with the uh, harp on coming out for some of you you're dealing with a taurus and then you have the Judgment card coming out. So yeah, this is the culmination of every all your efforts in this relationship. Is you restoring, bring this connection back to life here. So don't give up on this. You're you're right on the precipice of getting what you want from your person. Don't give up on this just yet. Just because you've been through pain, the wounded warrior, as you can see, he's he's barely holding on over here. Your person's holding on by a thread, but you're gonna have success here with this card coming out. You're right there. It's the last battle before you get to before you before you end before you get what you want. But yeah, your person, they're about to abandon. You don't see it happening. They're about, they're trying to make their escape. They're trying to walk away from an unfulfilling connection here with that eight of cups. You're going to be restoring emotional stability. Your person can be walking away from a connection they don't want to be in. Here, we're going to get in that victory over that three of uh, swords. And that's going to be your reading, Cancer. We need to add a message here from the money and the law of attraction cards.
But yeah, uh, Cancer, this is an excellent reading. You know, right from the beginning, you're getting a golden opportunity coming your way here with this Ace of Pentacles coming out. This is exactly what you've been looking for. Um, something, an opportunity falling right in your lap with this person. Um, this Ace of Pentacles has to do with healing, recovery. Uh, has to do with a, a prosperous uh, new start with you and your person. That's just going to be coming in with this Ace of Pentacles here. It's right next to the Page of Cups. So you're going to be making the most of this new opportunity coming in. Your person, they're going to be surprising you here with the uh, Page of Cups here. This is a, an unexpected message coming in for your person. You're not going to be like, wow, I did not expect to, to hear from you after after this third-party situation, after you uh, ripped my heart out, kind of put me through pain and agony. But your person can be coming through to offer you, uh, this is this is genuine uh, as well, with that being right next to the uh, Ace of Pentacles here. This person genuinely wants a new start with you. Um, you can trust in this person because you saw earlier with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, they want to take this relationship seriously. They don't want to finish what they started with you. They feel like there's unfinished business here. Um, they're going to be taking things more seriously this time around. You see it here with the heart on. They want commitment. You got the judgment card here. So um, restoring what you two had once lost or taking a look at like, we went through a long journey together. We went through a, a lot of ups and downs. You saw it earlier with the high priestess. You two have been through some of the worst and some of the best times together. And based off everything you've been through, your person wants to get back together. They want to restore this connection. They've been thinking a lot about this. You got the, uh, Page of Swords coming out here, which has to do with uh, penetration. Your person's been thinking a lot about um, sex or a lot about um, what they're going to do here with you. Right next to the Queen of Wands, uh, which the Queen of Wands has to do with, uh, she's she's uh, a very, uh, she's all about desire and about sex. She's very, she's the most sexual queen in the tarot. And she's all about, um, she's a big, she's a charmer. She soothes savage beasts. <laughs> You see with the Ace of Swords, uh, that's to do with the victorious struggle. It's saying that you have the power to make change in this relationship. It's a card of great force and great change, great communication. And it's right next to the uh, King of Cups, which the King of Cups, that's restoring emotional stability to your connection. That's just coming in for you here. So for many of you, you're going to have great communication, great sex coming in. Restoring this relationship, restoring emotional stability with your person, overcoming that third party, that uh, three of swords, that pain and heartache that you two went through. And the card that I got for you, Cancer, is what if everything was always working out for me? What if everything was always working out for me? Read the message on the back for you. It says... When you play the what if game, look for things that make you feel better. There is never a situation in which there is not a way out, but out of habit, most people continue to choose the lack perspective until they eventually find themselves where it seems there are no more choices. But as you hold your intention to look for evidence of well being, thriving, and success and happiness, you will tune yourself to the vibration of those things. So, those kinds of good feeling experiences will dominate your life. And that's what's coming in for you here, uh, Cancer. Some good feeling experiences. You know, you see it with the Ace of Pentacles. You see it with the Page of Cups. This is somebody that's overflowing with excitement here. This is somebody who is excited to come back through for you here. So this, these are good feelings coming in. Your person wants to come back into your life. They want to restore this connection. They're very, they're very horny, very turned on by you here. With this uh, Queen of Wands coming out here, You're, this is represents feminine wild. So your person's very wet, very wild, very horny. Uh, they've been dreaming about sex. They've been dreaming about getting penetrated by you here with that coming in. They want communication. Uh, but yeah, you're going to be overcoming that Three of Swords, that pain and that suffering that you went through with this person. That Ace of Swords, it's you uh, having success, having victory over pain, victory over the third party, and restoring emotional stability here. So you have good feelings coming in. With, uh, with this coming out as well, feeling, feeling a, a calm. Remember, the King Cups calms those turbulent waters. So, uh, you know, whatever it was that was stirring up all that that uh, pain and discomfort in you, it's like that's going to be washed away. You're going to be feeling good. You're going to be, you're gonna, this is going to ease your tension, ease your pain, help you overcome that three of swords, that, that heartache, that, that twisting blade in your chest. You're going to rip that thing out and you're going to recover. You're going to feel good. 
Um, and you're going to be getting a lot of support and love from your person here. A lot of sex coming in. Your person has a very strong sex drive with that Queen of Wands coming out. She's the most sexually driven queen in the tarot. And she's aware of her ability to get what she wants. She's very attractive, very charming. But yeah, this queen is going to be showing you a lot of love here. She wants your attention. She wants your time. She wants your love. She wants a lot of sex. But that's going to be happening for you here, Cancer. So you're ready for that, Cancer. Get ready for your uh, relationship to be restored, emotional stability to be restored, your sex life to be restored, and to be very hot, and sweaty, and passionate, and fun, exciting once again. Restoring that excitement and emotional stability to your connection here. This is very good. And this person wants something long-term. They want commitment. So that's going to be a reading, Cancer. Hope you enjoy that. I know I enjoy doing it for you. If it resonates with you, make sure you hit that like button. A lot of cancers out there, you know, these message for their love life is going to be for them, the whole cancer community. Put that good energy out there for them. Put it out there for yourself. If it's your first time here, make sure it is not your last time here. Subscribe to the channel. Click on the little notification bell so you get notified when your reading comes out. You do not want to miss it. And you don't want to miss your chance. That was Grow Here for Fun Effect Tarot by donating. You donate to my Cash App, my PayPal, or my Venmo, and all that information. As long as I can make a personal reading, if this resonates with you, will be included in that description box below this video. So you can do that down there. I want to say thank you so much for doing that down there. Thank you for your comments and support on the channel. Cancer. Yes, bust a like. Absolutely. Bust, bust a like. Bust, bust a move. A lot of good things are, are a lot of good things are happening here for you, Cancer. Um, but yeah, thank you, uh, Winter Brook. Thank you, uh, Mayoshi, Mimi, Molik. Thank you so much. Comments and support on the channel. Love you. Uh, thanks to all the cancers out there. You know, this is uh, still possible for cancer to uh, win or to uh, to get that uh, get that bonus reading. Uh, remember, it's all about likes this week. It's, it's not about getting the most views. If you, if you punch that like button enough times, you're going to get love. You're going to get that uh, bonus reading that you've been wanting. So that's going to be coming in for you. Um, but Cancer, I want to I want to be able to do that for you. You're, you're one of the signs that's in the running for this. Um, I haven't done a bonus reading for you yet. Uh, so we definitely love to do one. But yeah, Cancer, you have a golden opportunity coming in to uh, start things fresh with your person here. Restore the excitement, restore the fun, the passion, the good sex to your connection. You have commitment coming in, something long-term. This person wants to take things seriously. They want to finish what they started with you. This is something good. This is something special here with this person. You don't just find this anywhere. Someone that, that, that still stands by their, their values in, in relationships. They still want something traditional, still, still want something solid, long-lasting. Um, they want a lot of sex, too. This person is very uh, sexually driven. They're very beautiful, very sexy, very attractive. Uh, this is a Excellent, excellent connection. Excellent reading for you, Cancer. So again, I want to say thank you all so much, Cancer, for your love and support on the channel. God bless you, and you all have a great weekend.